Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about four essential supplements which every family will require. When you talk about supplements, supplement as I said earlier is something which we give along with the food to meet our, meet our body requirements. Today I am going to talk about two supplements and two supplements I will talk in the next video. The first supplement I am going to talk to you about is spirulina. What is spirulina? Spirulina is a blue, blue green algae and it is a powerhouse of nutrients. Normally spirulina, cap, cap, spirulina comes in tablet forms and capsules forms and powder forms also. If you are going to take 1000 milligrams of spirulina in a day, maybe two 500 milligrams capsules or two 500 milligrams tablet or if you are going to measure and take 1000 milligrams in a day in a week you will take around 14 tablets or 14 capsules or equivalent in milligrams if you are going to talk about 12 spiral like capsules what how much nutrients it will give and what all nutrients it will give the main nutrients it gives is vitamin B1 Spirulina gives around 20 green chilies or 16 saladines. Beta carotene it gives equivalent to 550 apples or 50 glasses of milk and vitamin B2 equal to 420 grapes and vitamin B3 is equal to 8 lemon B6 90 grams of bread with B12 240 grams of cottage cheese and E 6 pieces of chicken or 14 glasses of milk. Normally if we take two spirulina capsules in a day it is almost equivalent to taking one half to one kg of vegetables. Who all can take spirulina? Spirulina can be taken by anybody any age group. We can take it as a capsule, we can mix it in juice and drink in whichever form we can, can take it and even I uh, mean, it mean it, it. It is so much give you nutrients that even if you feel hungry, you will not feel tired. And if you take spirulina before food, it will help you to reduce weight. If you take spirulina along with food, it makes your diet a complete diet. If you are going to take spirulina after food, it may help you in increase weight. So. Spirulina can be taken any day, even you can take it during tea time because it is a food supplement. Food can be consumed any time. So dear friends, please make it a habit to give 1000 million of spirulina to every one of your family so that everyone gets at least 85 to 90 percent of your body requirements per day. The next supplement I am going to talk to you about is calcium. How much calcium on an average you require per day? On an average, you require about 1200 milligrams of calcium. 1200 milligrams of calcium is essential for a body to function every day. And how do you, where do you get calcium? Mainly from milk, curd, vegetables and so many other things we get calcium. If you don't get enough calcium, what happens? The body cannot function without calcium. So the body, what it does, it takes calcium from where it is available. It is easily available where? In the teeth, in the bone. So what happens for daily requirements? If you don't give input, it all starts taking from the available source that is bone. So your bone starts becoming weak. So people uh, start developing osteoporosis and things like that. So we have to give minimum 500 milligrams to 1000 milligrams supplement per day, depending upon your requirement. It will make your bone stronger. It will help your hair growth. It, calcium without calcium, most of the body functions will be more, most of the body functions need calcium. So mainly to strengthen your skeletal system, to strengthen your teeth, you need calcium. And menstruating ladies need more. And that is why some people just strip down, they fell, they break their bones and all because lack of calcium makes their bone weak. So calcium is one of the most essential nutrients if you are not able to get it from the food because in today's food if you want to get calcium, sufficient amount of calcium, the today's condition of milk and other things, you must be able to take 78 glasses of milk or equivalent eggs or something like that 
which if not possible calcium supplementation is must to keep you healthy so the first is spirulina and second is calcium two essential things and the next two essential things will come in the next video thank you